Mzansi Metro FM presenter Lerato Khanyako has sadly responded to reports that she doesn't own the pricey hotel called Tuafon Hello Villa and Spa in Northcliffe, Johannesburg. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know, you're here for the stories, go ahead, click the subscribe button and, of course, the bell and you'll never miss an update. Now, Mzansi, according to reports from City Press, Lerato allegedly lied about owning the hotel she claimed was gifted to her by her husband, Tamint Lala, for Valentine's Day. Now, this hotel has a penthouse booking of about 50,000 rand per night. Announcing the good news, Lerato said, Welcome to my hotel and restaurant. Follow us. We are hiring and you are all welcome. So, if you are looking for a job in a fancy hotel, Lerato has your back. But according to sources who approached City Press, Lerato allegedly does not own the hotel. Instead, the snitches claim that it is owned by her husband and two other business partners who opt to remain low key. Lerato is allegedly only the face of the hotel and nothing more. Now, that Valentine's Day gift noise that she made was just a publicity stunt. Tami did not buy her that hotel, said the snitch. She just featured as her face and used the opportunity because her fans were looking forward to a gift for this year, since last year was a banger, said the snitch. Now, Mzansi. Lerato has since seemingly reacted to the claim and laughed it off and saying she is getting free publicity. She said, Arno Leboja, free PR. Law, keep the same energy. Now, Lerato has a lot to celebrate, Mzansi, after bagging three nominations at the Basari and Music Awards nomination. She is nominated for DJ of the Year Award alongside Durban Gogo, DJ Zintle, Lamise, and Lesejo M. Her second nomination is for Entertainment Radio Presenter of the Year alongside Lebo Jojo Mokwena, Jabulile Vilagazi, Minentla Maso, and Anelam Doda. Her third nod is for Musari in Business Achievement Awards alongside DJ Zintla and Dineo Ranaka. Now, Lerato is feeling rather grateful for this and so she penned a sweet message to her supporters. Thank you to everyone that keeps nominating and voting for me. That's already a big win for me. Thank you. A blessed weekend for you all. See you at the hashtag I am a woman experience and a delicious fest. Lerato was at the centrum Zansi of a social media storm just a couple of days ago as she threatened to Expose Musa Kaula. Musa kept on referring to her as Bonang Light, but Nziki came to her defense. But Lerato Hanyako is much more than a presenter. She is also has a skill DJing. How can she be a light version of someone she is doing more than she asked? Now, Lerato has also threatened to expose Musa Kaula. She said, I don't fear you. I know you fear the Popoho. You can't hide forever in Umschlanga rocks. The sources that f- keep feeding you information about other people. People, you're going down with them. Don't bother deleting your DMs at Musa Kaola. Now that you have it, Mzansi, apparently, allegedly, Lerato is just smizing all the drama and saying, listen, you guys are giving me free PR. It means I'm doing something right because if I wasn't, y'all wouldn't even be talking about me. So there you have it, Mzansi. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section. You know, I love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it.